Eurosurgy part 6 and I promise that this is the last part. Torsion of the spermatic cord, torsion of the tests, definition, torsion of the tests and epididymis around the axis of the spermatic cord, incidence, most prevalent in adolescents, and uncommon surgical emergencies. Etiology, predisposing factors, imperfect descent of the testis, incomplete or ectopic, wide tunica vaginalis which surrounds the whole testis, testis is suspended loosely inside its cavity, pill clapper deformity, precipitating factors, minor trauma or straining at defecation, spontaneous torsion sometimes occurs, pathology, the testis rotates from outside inwards leading to edematous and congested testis, if the condition is not treated within 8 to 12 hours it becomes dark in color and finally gangrenous. The spermatic cord shows the twists one or more. If torsion persists, the blood vessels are thrombosed, the scrotal skin becomes red and edematous. Clinical picture, sudden, severe, agonizing pain in scrotum, groin and lower abdomen, associated symptoms, vomiting, not persistent, scrotum is swollen with irreducible acutely tender swelling, the overlying skin is edematous and red, the testis is higher than normal, shock with tachycardia and sweating may be present. Differential diagnosis, acute epididymorchitis, torsion of undescended testis has to be differentiated from strangulated inguinal hernia. So if we're going to compare between torsion of the testis and acute epididymorchitis regarding age in torsion, adolescents and children, while in acute epididymorchitis, adults or elderly, history in torsion, sometimes mild trauma, trauma, wild history in acute epididymorchitis, UTI symptoms, Temperature in torsion, normal or slightly elevated, and elevation of the scrotum doesn't alleviate the pain. While in acute epididymorchitis, elevation of the scrotum leads to partial pain relief and the temperature is elevated. In torsion of the testis, urgent urine analysis is free, while the urgent Doppler or duplex shows obstructed testicular vessels. While in acute epididymorchitis, urgent urine analysis may show pus cells while urgent Doppler or duplex patent testicular vessels. Investigations, urgent duplex scan the, to detect the blood flow obstruction in the vessels, exploration, indications, duplex scan is not available and diagnosis is suspected. Exploration is indicated even if it proves negative. Any delay, it may lead to a loss of the testis. Treatment, urgent surgery, steps, scrotal incision, undone torsion, if the testis is viable, the tunica vaginalis is everted and the testis is fixed to the bottom of the scrotum to prevent recurrence. If the testis is gangrenous, orchidectomy. The opposite testis should be fixed at the same time as the predisposing anomaly is commonly bilateral. Inflammatory conditions of the testis and spermatic cord, acute non-specific epididymorchitis, incidence, fairly common disease, mode of infection, ascending infection, the usual route, bloodborne infection rare, and it's secondary to specific fevers such as mumps, ascending infection, bacteria ascend through the lumen of the vas, secondary to urethritis, prostatitis, and seminal vesiculitis, whether spontaneously or after instrumentation, urethral catheterization or cystoscopy, the commonest organisms are gonococci, E. coli, proteus, streptococci, staphylococci, and chlamydia, Clinical picture, symptoms, general, history of prostatitis or mumps, constitutional symptoms as fahim, fever, malaise, anorexia, headache, and body aches, local, acute severe scrotal pain, this is the main symptom, signs, epididymis, and testis are swollen, tender, with red edematous skin, a small secondary hydrocele may be present, inflammation may subside spontaneously, recurrence is common, commonly pus cells are detected on urine analysis, inflammation of the testis alone, or chitis, is rare, and it's usually associated with inflammation of the Epididymis, epididymoorchitis, or with spermatic cord and epididymis, funiculoepididymoorchitis, it may be acute or chronic. Treatment, antibiotic for two to three weeks, usually a member of quinolones, rest for few, uh, first few days. Chronic specific epididymoorchitis, such as filariasis, may follow acute attack or chronic from the start. The disease affects the lymphatics, spermatic cord is matted. Vas cannot be differentiated from other cord constituents. There are firm to hard masses in the cord, but breaking down doesn't occur. There may be secondary hydrocele, TB, the primary site of affection, the epididymis, type of the patient, mainly in young males, click a picture, multiple tuber uh, tubercles affect the tail of the epididymis, nodules enlarged, leading to caseation and cold abscess formation, adherent to the skin and bursts, tuberculous sinus on the posterior aspect of the scrotum, Vas difference is second and studded with multiple tubercles, tubercles leading to beading. The testis is usually uh, free for a long time. 
treatment, medical by anti-TB drugs, if no response, excision of the vast difference and epididymis. Bilharziasis, affection of the cord or testis can occur as a complication of urinary or intestinal disease. It's a chronic disease from the start, site of infection, lower part of the cord and epididymis. Click a picture, the cord is second and not matted. It contains bilharzian masses which are variable in size. The testis and the tunica vaginalis are usually normal. Neoplasmas of the tests incidence, 99% of testicular neoplasms are malignant. They constitute 1-2% to of malignant tumors in males, occur at a relatively young age, etiology, incompletely descended testis, especially intra-abdominal variety, increases incidence of malignancy 15 times than the normal population. Surgery for undescended testis to bring it to the scrotum doesn't reduce the high susceptibility to malignancy. Classification germ cell tumors, interstitial tumors, and lymphoma. Interstitial tumors and lymphoma are rare. Interstitial tumors include Leydig cell tumor and Sertoli uh, cell tumor. Germ cell tumors, seminoma, 40%. Non-seminomatous germ cell tumors, teratomas, 32%. Combined seminoma and teratoma, 14%. Seminoma incidence, the commonest neoplasm of the testis type of the patient, occurs between 30 to 50 years of age. Macroscopically, the testis is large, firm, and smooth. Cut section, homogeneous, pink, creamy in color. Sometimes it's lobulated due to presence of fibrous septa. Necrosis may occur in rapidly growing tumors. Histologically, seminoma is derived from the seminiferous tubules. Cells resemble spermatocytes, rounded or oval, with clear cytoplasm and large rounded nuclei. Cells are arranged in sheets, separated by fibrous tissue stroma, spread mainly by lymphatics and rarely by blood. Teratomas, type of the patient between the age of 20 to 35 years, origin to potent cells, which can differentiate into the three embryonic layers, ecto, meso, and endoderm. Macroscopically, cut section is heterogeneous, showing cysts which contain gelatinous material and areas of hemorrhage and necrosis. Histological classification, differentiated teratoma, malignant teratoma intermediate, malignant teratoma anaplastica, and malignant teratoma trophoplastica. Differentiated teratoma, no, histolo no histologically recognizable malignant components, but may metastasize, not considered benign, best example is the dermoid cyst, malignant teratoma intermediate, commonest, malignant teratoma anaplastica composed of undifferentiated embryonal cells of yolk sac origin, producing alpha fetoprotein, malignant teratoma torphoplastica, the most aggressive, this was previously known as choriocarcinoma. In 10% of cases, there is history of trauma which attracts the patient's attention to the presence of a swelling. Staging, stage 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, tumor in the testis only, 2, involvement of lymph nodes below the diaphragm, 3, involvement of lymph nodes above diaphragm, and 4, systemic metastasis. Interstitial cell tumors onset, arising early in life, whether from cells of Leydig or cells of Sertoli, cells of Leydig occurring before puberty, producing excessive amounts of androgens, leading to infant Hercules or sexual precocity and extreme muscular development. Cells of Sertoli occurring after puberty, producing estrogen, gynecomastia, loss of libido, and aspermia. Clinical picture, typical cases, symptoms, painless testis enlargement, with sense of heaviness, the first symptom, pain is present in 30% of the cases, signs, the testis is enlarged, hard, smooth, and heavy, later, soft, bossy areas, testicular sensation is lost early in the course of the disease, Lax secondary hydrocele is present in 10% of cases. The epididymis may be infiltrated with tumor. The paraaortic lymph nodes may be palpable just above the umbilicus. The inguinal lymph nodes are not affected unless scrotal skin is infiltrated. The liver may be palpable. Symptoms due to lymphatic or blood metastasis may be the first presentation, as epigastric pain or cough, dyspnea or hemoptysis. The left supraclavicular nodes may be enlarged by metastasis. Hormonal effects are present with interstitial cell tumors, infant Hercules, or feminizing manifestations. Atypical presentations, slowly growing type, which takes two to three years to uh, develop. Hurricane type, fatal termination due to metastasis from highly malignant tumors. Some cases may simulate epididymal orchitis with acute pain and swelling that is due to hemorrhage. An abdominal mass with empty scrotal compartment should raise a suspicion of malignant transformation in abdominal undescended tests. Biopsy should never be taken through the scrotum, neither by incision nor by needle aspiration because it opens a way for spreading to the inguinal lymph nodes. Investigations, tumor markers, beta fraction of human chronic gonadotrophin, 
raised in less than 10% of seminoma and 100% of patients with choriocarcinoma. Sustained elevation after treatment suggests residual disease. Alpha fetoprotein elevated in non seminomatous germ cell tumors, teratomas, but never in seminomas. Lactic dehydrogenase, scrotal ultrasound confirming the presence of testicular tumor and differentiated from other lesions, such as epididymis, epididymitis, chest x-ray, abdominal and chest CT scan for lymph nodes, liver and pulmonary deposits, treatment, initial treatment, high orchidectomy, operation, inguinal incision, the spermatic cord is identified and isolated at the internal inguinal ring, vascular clamp is applied as high as possible on the spermatic cord to avoid the risk of blood dissemination while the tumor manipulation the testes can now be delivered out and inspected. If there is a frank tumor, excise the testes and spermatic cord after doubly ligating and dividing the cord later at internal ring. If in doubt, take biopsy for frozen section while clamp in place. A scrotal incision is contraindicated as it opens a way for spreading to inguinal lymph nodes. Further management, we have it depends on type and stage of disease. For seminoma, it's radiosensitive, therefore used in early disease. With advanced disease, more reliance on chemo because of its systemic value. Stage 1, radiotherapy for paraaortic lymph nodes. Stage 2, radiotherapy which extends above diaphragm. Stage 3, chemo with or without radio. And stage 4, chemo. Teratoma, the tumor is less sensitive to irradiation than seminoma. For stage 1, retroperitoneal lymphadenectomy or expectant policy. More advanced stages, combination chemotherapy using cisplatin etuposide and bleomycin, follow up by tumor markers level if reduced to normal level, successful of uh, successful therapy, incomplete reduction means residual tumor and re-evaluation to signify recurrence. Varicocele definition, elongation, dilatation and tortuosity of the pampiniform plexus of veins, varicose veins of the spermatic cord. Surgical anatomy, veins of the testis and epididymis form the pampiniform plexus formed of 4 to 8 veins in the inguinal canal. In the retroperitoneal area reduced to 1 to 2 testicular veins, the testicular vein ends in IVC on the right side, left renal vein on the left side. The pampiniform plexus and testicular veins are devoid of valves except in uh, the termination. Primary varicocele, incidence. Common condition, etiology, its exact cause is not known, but may be due to congenital mesenchymal weakness, weakness of the venous valves, uh, venous walls, associated with hernia, varicose veins, and flat feet, almost always affecting the left side, but the right side is rarely affected, sometimes it's bilateral. The tendency for the left side may be due to right angle termination of left spermatic vein into ref a left renal vein, blocking venous return, right vein terminates obliquely into the IVC, lower position of left testis, longer, more dependent plexus, and compression of the left testicular vein by heavily loaded pelvic colon in constipated patients. Clinical picture, type of the patient, usually affecting young adults, 15 to 30 years, symptoms, infertility, dragging sensation or aching pain in testis, especially on prolonged standing and in hot weather, signs, inspection, the affected side of the scrotum hangs lower than normal, Large varicoceles are also visible. Varicosities may be present in the scrotal skin. Palpation. The varicocele cannot be felt while the patient is lying down. On standing, the veins dilate, felt above testis like a bag of worms. The varicocele forms a soft compressible inguinoscrotal swelling, which gives a fluid thrill on cuff. Investigations. Doppler or Doppler scan detects reversal of blood flow in the testicular vein. Semen analysis for cases of infertility and abdominal ultrasound to exclude cases of secondary varicocele due to RCC, renal cell carcinoma. Complications, hypofertility, particularly when bilateral, varicocele can lower sperm count and vitality, reducing fertility. Cause, higher temperature in scrotum produced by the venous congestion impairs spermatogenesis. Treatment, conservative treatment in early cases, reassurance, for pain, scrotal suspender or closed fitting underpants, especially in hot weather. Surgical treatment indications infertility due to defective spermatogenesis, sperm count, and viability. Fertility improves in 30 to 50 percentage of cases after surgery. A large, painful varicocele when pain doesn't respond to conservative measures. Operations idea prevention of venous reflux by attacking venous return of the testis at one of those levels. Ligation and division of testicular veins and the extraperitoneal space as it emerges from the internal ring, whether by open surgery, 
Palomo operation or laparoscopically. Ligation and division of pampiniform plexus in the inguinal canal or at the neck of the scrotum. Secondary varicocele incidence, rare condition, etiology, obstruction of the venous flow in the spermatic vein by abdominal tumor, usually renal carcinoma, produced by pressure from outside by the renal mass, intramural growth of the tumor in the renal vein or IVC. Differs from the primary type in age because it occurs after the age of 40, affecting both sides equally, develops rapidly and enlarges in few weeks, doesn't disappear on lying down or if the scrotum is elevated. Treatment of the cause. Epididymal cysts and spermatocele, unknown etiology, pathology, arising from the head of the organ and filled with clear fluid occasionally, the cyst is called spermatocele, containing spermatozoa, making the fluid turbid. Clinical picture, symptoms, the patient complains of painless scrotal swelling. The cyst is usually small, sometimes it attains large size, looks to the patient like a third testis. Signs. On examination, the swelling is purely scrotal, lying just above and slightly behind the testis. Epididymal cysts are non-tender, cystic, and translucent with exception of spermatoceles. The main difference from a vaginal hydrocele is that an epididymal cyst is felt separate from the tests. Treatment. Most epididymal cysts deserve no treatment. Large or rapidly growing cysts, surgically exercised, take care not to injure the epididymis while removing the cyst. Hydrocele, definition, collection of clear serous fluid inside a part of the processus vaginalis. Classification, hydrocele in the spermatic cord, hydrocele of the tunica vaginalis. Hydrocele of the spermatic cord we have in cyst and hydrocele of a hernial sac. Hydrocele of the tunica vaginalis, we have congenital, infantile, vaginal, primary or secondary. So we have a comparison between hydrocele of the spermatic cord, incested hydrocele of the spermatic cord and hydrocele of a hernial sac. Insisted hydrocele of a spermatic cord, etiology, persistence of middle part of the processus vaginalis. Although congenital, it usually appears in childhood as fluid takes time to accumulate. While the hydrocele of the hernial sac, fluid distension of an empty hernial sac, which has been shut off from the peritoneal cavity by omentum or adhesions. Clinical picture of insisted hydrocele of spermatic cord, painless, small, translucent, cystic swelling at neck of scrotum. Oval in shape with long axis along the cord. Mobility from side to side but not from above downwards. The cyst is attached to the cestus by a fibrous band representing obliterated portion of the processus vaginalis. With gentle traction on the tests, it's pulled downwards and becomes fixed. Treatment excision. Hydrocele of a hernial sac clinical picture. There is a history of hernia. Later, a reducible pyriform translucent cystic swelling in the upper part of the cord. Mobility, from side to side but not from above downwards. Gentle traction on the tests doesn't change the position, nor mobility of the swelling, unlike the incested hydrocele, which is pulled downwards and becomes fixed. Treatment, treating the hernia. Hydrocele of the tunica vaginalis. Congenital hydrocele, etiology, persistence of the whole processus vaginalis, communication with the peritoneal cavity is too small to permit the development of a hernia. Clinical picture, cystic, cystic translucent inguinal scrotal swelling. The hydrocele is intermittent, fills gradually on standing and empties very slowly if the patient lies down and the scrotum is elevated. Treatment, surgical. Through inguinal incision, the sac is divided into two parts, upper part transfixed at level of internal ring as hernia, the lower part is whether everted or just left undisturbed. Infantile hydrocele, incomplete obliteration of the processus vaginalis, the tunica extends up to the internal ring but doesn't communicate with the peritoneal cavity. The differentiation from a congenital hydrocele is only at operation. Treatment by eversion of the tunica, vaginal hydrocele definition, fluid collection in the tunica vaginalis, etiology idiopathic, primary hydrocele due to underlying lesion, secondary hydrocele, Primary vaginal hydrocele, this is the most frequent type. Etiology, cause of this condition is not known. Possible causes, diminished fluid absorption by tunica vaginalis, chronic congestion and irritation by repeated trauma. Pathology, accumulation of fluid in tunica vaginalis may reach large size. It may be unilateral or bilateral. The tunica becomes thickened, fibrosed and rarely calcified. The hydrocele fluid, characters amber yellow and thin. Content, water, inorganic salts, fibrinogen, and albumin in a concentration which resembles a transudate. 
complications infection by a seal after aspiration hemorrhage hematocel after trauma or spontaneously rupture usually following trauma huge expansion on in the scrotum in drawing of the penis interferes with micturition and intercourse secondary hydrocele incidence uncommon etiology secondary to a disease of the cord or the testis this disease may be acute and uh, such as epididymal urkitis or chronic malignant or chronic inflammation can get picture usually small and soft with testicular cancer the fluid may be blood stained treatment of the cause clinical picture type of the patient the clinical picture of the uh, vaginal hydrocele type of the patient middle-aged elderly males symptoms painless scrotal swelling signs inspection piriform swelling palpation purely scrotal swelling fingers can reach above the swelling at the neck of the scrotum the swelling is cystic with smooth surface and no impulse on cuff. Hydrocele fluid surrounds the testis, which is oftenly impalpable. Transillumination, translucent. Treatment is essentially surgical. Methods, eversion of the tunica vaginalis. Scrutal incision is done, tunica vaginalis is opened and evacuated. The cut edges are everted behind the testis and sutured behind the epididymis by continuous sutures. Excision of the tunica vaginalis indications large hydrocele and sick walled tunica vaginalis. Lord's operation indications suitable for cases where the tunica is not sickened. Small scrotal incision is made through all layers, including tunica. The testis is allowed to prolapse through the wound. The tunica is plicated by series of radial sutures around the testis. The spermatic cord, epididymis, and testis should be examined to exclude cases of secondary hydrocele. Scrotal ultrasound helps examination of a testis that is difficult to palpate. Aspiration is not recommended because recurrence is certain, may be complicated by infection or hemorrhage. Hematocele, accumulation of blood or blood-stained fluid in the tunica vaginalis. Etiology, we have acute hematocele, trauma to the testis in injuring the tunica albuginia. Post-operative, testicular biopsy, aspiration of hydrocele, torsion of the testis, acute funiculoepididymal orchitis, click a picture, symptoms, acutely painful swelling of the scrotum, signs, swelling is tense, tender, opaque with trans illumination, treatment, surgical evacuation of the blood, excision of the tunica vaginalis, if there is tear in the tunica albuginia, repair it. Chronic hematocele, old clotted hematocele, blood clots, fibrosis and sickening of the tunica, etiology, neglected acute hematocele, repeated minor hemorrhages in blood diseases, complications, infection, calcification, compression and atrophy of the tests, calcification in old standing cases and may be mistaken for malignancy, clinical picture, symptoms, heaviness and swelling of the scrotum, signs, swelling is hard, opaque on trans and the contents of the scrotum cannot be differentiated, treatment, orchidectomy, testis is atrophied anyways, indications, majority of cases which are late and confused with malignancy to exclude it. Phimosis, definition, it's a congenital disorder where there is narrowing of the prepotial orifice and inability to prepuce, to retract beyond the glans penis. Clinical, pic uh, clinical picture, the prepuce balloons during micturition, complications, trial to forcibly retract the prepuce, paraphimosis and strangulation of the glands occur, treatment, many cases resolve spontaneously in childhood, persistent cases need circumcision. Pyocele, definition, collection of pus in the tunica vaginalis, etiology, infected hematocele, infected hydrocele especially after tapping, secondary to suppurative funiculoepididymal orchitis, clinical picture, general, constitutional manifestations, local, pain, redness, hotness, edema and tenderness, treatment, incision and drainage of the pus, chylocele, chyle, lymph accumulating in the tunica due to rupture of the lymphatic vessels in case of flariasis, clinical picture, swelling which is similar to hydrocele but transopaque. Clinical diagnosis of a scrotal swelling question can the examiner's fingers meet the above meet above the swelling? If cannot, it's an inguinal scrotal swelling, oblique inguinal hernia that reaches down to the scrotum or a varicocele. To differentiate hernia gives expansile impulse on cuff, usually reducible, may be associated with gurgling sound. Varicocele feels like a bag of worms compressible and disappears on lying down and produces palpable thrill on cuff. If can get above the swelling, it's a purely scrotal swelling. Question 2. What is the consistency of the purely scrotal swelling? 
cystic or solid. Cystic, vaginal hydrocele, epididymal cyst, incested hydrocele of the spermatic cord, or hydrocele of a hernia sac. Solid, testicular cancer, old clotted hematocele, chronic epididymis, epididymitis, and tuberculous or nonspecific. Question 3. In a case of cystic scrotal swelling, if the tests felt separate from the swelling or impalpable because it lies within the swelling, if impalpable, this means vaginal hydrocele and confirmed by transillumination. If felt separate from the swelling, it can be epididymal cyst, low in scrotum attached to the epididymis, but cannot be moved separate from the tests. In cysted hydrocele of the cord, moved separate from the tests, downward traction on the tests, limiting swelling mobility. Hydrocele of a hernia sac, traction on the tests, doesn't affect mobility. In case of a hard scrotal swelling, does it include the testes or is it confined to the epididymis? Including the testes, this means testicular cancer or old clotted hematocele. Confined to the epididymis, tuberculous and chronic non-specific epididymitis. Important points, retractile testes is a normal finding in infants and young children. It requires no treatment. An undescended testes should be operated upon before two years of age. Testicular torsion is a surgical emergency if in doubt. Urgent surgery is still recommended in order to save the testes. Never puncture or incise the scrotum in a case that is suspected to be testicular cancer because for the third time this opens a way for spread to inguinal lymph nodes. And believe me when I say that this is the last part of the urosurgery.